In Chapter 5, you learn to view values in a photograph according to a zone system, which allows you to see a scale from black to white and um, regard that scale as a way to measure different values in an image. Um, this allows you to conceive of a tonal range, um, and you can sort of decipher whether an image has a very large and robust tonal range or a small, confined um, tonal range. So we're using an image like this that has a lot of gradients, um, a lot of sort of uh, drifting from dark values to lighter values uh, to take a look at that. And you might have done this, uh, the exercises in this chapter just by eyeballing, um, and that would be fine. You know, you can sort of look and decide which value this most closely corresponds with. Um, but for those who are a little more picky, you could also use the info panel in order to um, be precise about setting up the, um, the grayscale uh, values and where they fit in the zone system. So I'm going to pull the info panel out of here. The little I stands for info. I could also go under window to info. And with the info panel open, since my image is a grayscale image, you can go under image menu to mode and you can see this is a grayscale image. My info panel is going to show me the percentage of black. The, the K stands for black. Um, if it were a full color image, I might see cyan, magenta, yellow, and black values. Um, or I might see RGB, red, green, and blue values. But I'm going to focus on just looking here at the K value or the black value. And all I'm going to do is roll my cursor over the image. I'm not clicking um, or dragging or anything like that. Um, I also can use, you know, basically whichever, whichever tool. It doesn't matter what tool I'm on. Um, I generally just use a selection tool when I do this, just in case if I click and drag by accident, the, the worst that can happen is I make a selection and I press Command-D to deselect. So you can see my, um, my zone is set like this. My true black is 100% black, 100% K value, and zone 1 is about 93%, zone 2 for digital images, approximately 87%, zone 3, 80%, 71, 62, 52. You can notice as I'm moving across the scale, the number that is assigned to the scale here, 52, shows up in my K value up here in the info palette as I roll my cursor over it. So um, I'm basically going to take a look inside my, my image and try to see where some of those zones fall into place. So that maybe um, an obvious place to start might be here, this really uh, dark, dark, dark value. Uh, I'm seeing that reads as 98% black. And that's, that's really close to 100%. So I'm going to say, like, this is definitely fitting into that zone zero. And if I looked at that super, super white part, and I'm going to zoom way in, I like to press spacebar command, and then you can click, um, or you can, you can uh, click and drag if you want to. Um, and if I zoom way in, I can see that white, kind of whatever this is, piece of trash, um, is going to give me a very low K value. Um, and if I zoom back out again, I'd see that would fall, of course, into my zone 10. Um, although, um, you know, that's a pretty small part of the image, and if I put my cursor near it, I can see that just outside of that white part, I'm in the 70s already. And the 70s are going to put me into uh, pretty much like a zone 4. So, in this image, most of the data, and as I just scroll my cursor around, I can see right now my K value 79%, 77%, 69%, 76%, 90%, you know, 83%, 82%. Right, so I'm, I'm mostly going to be up in here between zone 0 and 4 with an image like this. So you can decide, you know, as you view your images, um, what does the tonal range look like, uh, how, how robust is it, um, you know, am I happy with that, or do I want to reshoot and try to get a wider tonal range? Um, do I want a tonal range, you know, in terms of my concept, do I want a tonal range that is mostly kind of on the darker side, um, or does it make more sense conceptually to add more light and get a tonal range that is a little bit closer to the higher numbers in the zone system?
the info panel can be really helpful in um, you know testing your eye basically seeing you know if you chose something as a zone 3 you know did it read at about 80 percent or so or you know was it really falling into a zone 4 so it's a really you know I think a, kind of a good exercise a fun exercise an easy exercise and a way to eye to see those values.